Hey Karen, it's Karen Trezati. It was awesome meeting you at Angela's party. You were just this amazing soul. I really, really, I don't know. I just really thought the world of you. I thought you were a neat person. I told them that. So anyway, thank you for your makeup order. I'm going to show you a video based on everything that you bought, how I would use the things and how I'd put it in, into order in the palette, etc. Number one, you got the bomb. I love this stuff. This stuff is a game changer. Um, you just pump it on. I do use it morning and night. Um, it dramatically has changed my skin. So I love this stuff. So I'm glad you got this. I'll put that on before my makeup. Palette wise, how you would put your makeup in your palette. We're gonna open the tins, they slide open, they're magnetic. I would put Mango, which is your color correcting color up top. Amber Aura, Astoria, which is your contour. Desert Sunset, which is your lip and cheek your rose gold illuminator. And the other side, I would put my eyeshadows. I kept an extra one in here, but there's Cupcake, Mama, and Soulmate, I think was yours. Let me make sure. Yes, it was Soulmate. Soulmate. Okay, so. Brush-wise, you got the eyeshadow brush, which is amazing. The blush and bronzer brush, which everybody kind of needs. It's a blending brush. It's the biggest brush you'll have in your brush uh, stash. This is my favorite brush. You got the buff brush, which you're going to use to put on your color correction and your highlight colors, which are your foundation colors. And then you got the detail hack brush, which is a hack brush. It's used for contouring. Okay, so let's, let's go to town. What will we do first? The first thing we would do, and I think you had a really good handle on it, we're gonna take that mango. Any place you feel like you need to color correct, I would just dab, take that dense brush, just dab, and any spots you have on your face, you can color correct with mango. If you feel like you have under eye circles, push mango. You have any redness, push mango. You have any sunspots, push mango down into it. So let's say I have a spot right there it away color corrected it even if i had spots down here let's get rid of i could color correct i have a lot of sun damage okay so that's the first thing you want to do is color correct same dense brush you're going to go into amber push down into it put amber here this is your main highlight now in the summer you could probably use mango as your main highlight and not this so as you get darker if you get more sun Amber, amber up here, down the sides. If you put too much on it, it's no big deal. You can color correct it, or not color correct it, but blend it away. Then you're gonna take that same brush, you're gonna flip to the smaller end. You're gonna go into Aura, push down, come under, and push out. Under, push out. Down the center of your nose. Get a little T up here. You're just brightening, you're bringing attention to your eyes, which are beautiful. And here, and here. Next thing you're gonna do is take that funky looking brush. Yours is gonna be white, I have the old version, but it's that funky looking, it looks like an oval and has a small end. So I could use the small end and go into my contour, which is the darkest color you have. You have ash, and you could contour your nose if you want. The thinner and closer the lines are together, or the closer the lines, the thinner your nose will appear. Obviously, we're gonna blend that. I'm gonna take the big funky end, push down into my contour, come under and push up. Now I've done like 10 makeups today, so I have a lot of makeup on, <laughs> so sorry. Coming to the other, push down and up. So it's almost like an immediate facelift. We wanna push up. Same contour, I'm gonna come up here and add definition to my forehead. Our forehead should not just be one color. I could come down here and contour here, here, and even bring some contour down here to blend the makeup into your neck. Now, since we contoured the nose, we do wanna take Aura and see how that immediately slimmed the nose. Next step. 
take that big old fluffy brush and you can take either end. I like to use the denser end because it blends a little better for me, but you're welcome to use the bigger end too. Both are great for blending. You start to blend the makeup. You could literally blend it off your face. So you want to just blend it a little and then you can see what the coverage looks like and blend it more if you need to. Make sure you blend in the nose where you contoured if you do contour there. Blend, 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 blend. And then you, my dear, you had such beautiful coloring. You're gonna use Desert Sunset. You're gonna take the denser end of that big brush you just blended with. You're gonna to touch into Desert Sunset. Oh, that's really pretty. I gotta use that. Wow, I like that. Um, coming to here, Desert Sunset. Wow. I think I just found a new color for me. Push it out, blend it in. If you feel like you got too much, you can again literally blend it away. What a beautiful color, wow. And then finger in there for your lips. Finger, finger. I could use a brush. Now, you could also highlight, or not highlight, I'm sorry. You could line your lips with your contour. So it just makes them a little bit more defined. You can see the difference there. Next thing you're gonna do is take your finger, you're gonna push it into your rose gold illuminator, come above your cheek, and that's where you get that luminosity. You're just gonna add a little bit of shine there. A little bit of shine there. I could even, oh, drop my palette now. Put my hand back in that illuminator and add some to my lips. So lots of different looks. You can blend and make it, which is amazing. Um, finally, we're gonna flip over to the eyeshadows. You got the eyeshadow brush, which is amazing. You're gonna take the bigger end of the eyeshadow brush. You're gonna come down into cupcake. Put cupcake all over your lid all over your lid. Then you're gonna take the same big end, go into mama, put mama on your lid. And then here's the secret. You're gonna take the small end of that brush, push down into soulmate. Don't be shy and come to the center. And then blend with a big end. So you can see how that opened up that eye a lot more than this one, right? You could also take your finger and push down into soulmate and press it. It's really that simple. But the little shimmer, it's not glitter, it's a little shimmer, it just adds a lot. So that is it in a nutshell. Um, you also got the brush clen cleanser, which is insane. Literally spray your brush Take a microfiber towel and just rub it down into the brush, or the brush into the towel. It cleans it, it sanitizes it, and it's dry. You can immediately use it. You don't have to wait. And it smells really, really, really good. So that's your brush cleanser, which is amazing. And I have to clean up these all again. So that is your setup. Um, you picked beautiful, beautiful colors and you looked beautiful. But I'm here for you. So if you have any questions or you want to do a Zoom or you want to come to my house and let me go through it with you, whatever. I want you to use me because that's what I'm here for. So let me know. This video is just something that will always be saved to my YouTube channel so you can always go back. I'll be honest with you, the more you practice it, I think you're, you're going to have it down. You just seem like you had it. Um, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. You can't mess it up. You could literally paint it on with your fingers, take your blend brush, blend it, and literally be done. All right, gorgeous. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm so here for you.